Hello and welcome back to Eclassopedia. We are back with the cricket score analysis. Uh, I've got the score of all the Indian players in the World Cup 2011. And now I've managed to get the names, unique names and the number of innings. Now I need the runs and the balls faced by each player. So if I see here, Virendra Sehwag has scored 175 and then 35 in, in this inning, 210 and so on. But it will be difficult for me to do it one by one. So let me see what is the solution. The solution is some if function. We can use some if or some ifs to get the total runs made by Virendra Sehwag. So let us start with the formula. We start with some if and it tells you exactly what is required here. It is, you need the range, that is the criteria range, the criteria and the sum range. So let us go to the criteria range first. It's, it is in column A. We will pull in all the details from here, A to A77. We come back again uh, with, uh, with the criteria. The criteria is Virendra Sehwag. So let us take Virendra Sehwag as the criteria so my range from where I'm getting Virendra Sehwag is column A and here in G2 is Virendra Sehwag and I need the run range now. So I will pull the range of the runs that is from B2 to B77 and I will close the bracket. Let us see what do we get. Will we get our runs? Will we get a solution or we have to do it manually? One, two, three, enter. There you go. You can see here 380 runs have been scored by Virendra Sehwag. You can see it manually. You can just calculate it manually, but I have got this formula. You can use this formula you want. I also need the ball space. I can do the same thing by keeping it uh, C2 to C77. But how do I get the complete total by just one click? Let's have a look at this. Uh, my criteria range is fixed so i will just click f4 and i will fix my criteria here g2 g is fixed over here because i do not want to go to h when i pull this data to i the same thing will change to h so i would like to have this as g only so i will change this i will have the dollar sign coming in to fix only G, 2 is relative. Again, if I pull this over here to the ball faced, this will change again to C, 2 to C, 77. So my B needs to change over here. But my range, it should not go to 3. It has to be 2 itself. So I will fix this range from here. So let me see if it works over here. Yes, you can see here we did this smart move. We got A2 to A77 is locked. Same way G2 is locked. But here you can see C2 and C77 are now locked over here. So now the number 2 and 77 will not change. But C has changed over here. So let us try to do this for the complete sheet and let us now pull this data for till below. So you can see with two clicks I managed to add both the columns together that is runs and balls faced. Just a small recap what we did is we wanted the runs and the balls faced so it was very easy by just locking in few cells using the logic and then executing it. There you go. You can see now Virendra Sehwag scored 380 runs in 310 balls. Same way Gautam Gambhir made 393 of 462. So I've managed to get the runs and the balls faced by the sum if function. Well, there will be many other ways also to find out, but I thought this is the easiest way to get this function. In future, we will look at many other things like the maximum run scored, the minimum scored. We need to see the strike rate of each player. Thank you for watching my video. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. 
Also, press that bell icon to get my latest updates. Bye-bye.